Today we went to a local farm swap. People were selling chickens and turkeys and peacocks and goats and it was awesome. And we picked up some chickens and a duck. Look at that. Chickens. Hey there, chickies. And then also in this one. Look at there. Just for tonight, I have this black bucket that I put some um, food line bags in. These are paper bags. I don't have any mulch, and it is already six o'clock. So I'm not gonna be able to go get any tonight. I will have to get it tomorrow. So for tonight, this is gonna work just fine. It's one night only. The chickies will be just fine. Oh, look at the duck, the little duckling says hi. Let's get them out. <laughs> Come here. Okay, the dogs want the chicken. Doggies can't have the chicken. This is definitely not enough wood chips, not a big enough space. But like I said, it's for tonight only. Alrighty, here we go. They're already scratching and eating food, drinking water. All I have for water was this little tuna can, but it's not sharp at all, and it's not going to hurt them. It'll be perfectly fine. I think I need to get another tuna can for food, though, because I don't want them in their food. Um, Alright, so the breeds that we got... There are two Easter Eggers, there are two Americanas, there are two Olive Eggers, and there is one, oh, what was the other one? You know what, I think it might also be Americana, and it's this guy right here, this little girl. She's a blue Americana, or silver, I think that's what she said. So these chicks I got for laying colorful eggs. You're just scratching, just a scratching. I'm so excited to have chickens again. They are active, so active. All right, this is just a really quick video saying hi to our new little chickens. We need to build a chicken coop and probably a better brooder. These are three to four day old chicks. Very active. So they have found their food and they have found the wood chips, but they've not found their water. So I need to dip their beak in the water. Hang on. Listen, water. Okay. Hey, easy. Water. All right. There you go. Hey. Water. Water. Yep, water. Okay. When you are getting newborn chicks, you're going to want to dip their beak in the water so that they can see that that is the water. No, I'm not trying to drown them. That's not the point. I'm very easily, very easily. Dip. That's it. Dip. They need to see that this is their water. Dip. Good. Don't get in the water, little chick. Dip. Dip. Last one. Dip. It is important that when setting up your new brooding area that these chicks know where their food and water are. We don't want them to dehydrate. They need water. They definitely need to know where that is. Here we are in Tractor Supply down the chicken aisle and I am trying to find this feed. So we got our chickens and now we, oh, there it is. 
That's it. This is the feed that they are currently on and I want to stay on the same feed that they're on. So this is the one we're going to get for $24.49. Ceramic eggs. That's cool. Ooh, mealworms. We got all kinds of treats and everything here. Oh, here we go. All right, we got the waterers here. All right, we're gonna get one of these. I think that these are, I hope they're not separate. Our base. I just wanna make sure that I definitely get this right. The right pieces. I don't think that this is a waterer though. Is it the waterer? No quartz grown I mean, it has to be the water, I guess. It seems like that would come right out though. Okay, I think that this is for food. Um, maybe this is the water? Okay, so that has a little hole. There it is. This, okay, this is the watering. Okay. Steel. Okay. I found a bigger. Okay, so we've got two different sizes here. It's obviously, they're both for chicks. Chicks starting because uh, you don't want the chicks to drown in the water. I'm going to go with the bigger one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we've got the little hole there. The water comes out. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and get two. So this is for the feed. This one's for the water. Oh, incubators. Oh God, I'm gonna get in trouble in here. I gotta go. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to buy that incubator. I'm not going to, but oh, I want to. Okay, here they got stainless steel stuff. This is obviously for bigger chicks. I've got one of these at home. These will be for whenever they get bigger. Poultry drinker, that makes sense. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, we got fencing. We have to build a coop. Let's just, let's just take a look here, shall we? Oh, cute little egg basket. Roosting box. What? Look at this. What? That is like scrap plywood. That will cost a whole two. 50 maybe three dollars to build insane all right let's see here seems like this will probably be the best option i'm gonna have to come back for this alfalfa okay this is for goats and horses okay there's the chicken aisle Okay, dear, we're done. That's it with the chicken. Oh, wait. <laughs> I got so distracted with these that I didn't pick up the food. I gotta get the food. We got our food, we got our waterers. Let's go home. Oh, I need a heat lamp. I gotta get a heat lamp. Hope oh, this is heavy. I need a cart. I don't think things through. That does look cool. You can get the Concord grape. Party in the zones five through nine. We're zone eight. Kids? Yeah, I'm ending. Here we are in the bathroom. This is where I have the chicks set up. This is the new heat lamp we got. And here's the chicks with their little food and their waterer. I already got the water pretty dirty. No chickies. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Seven chicks, one duck. I like From that. what I can assume, see we bought them at three days old. So they are about five days old now. Roughly. So it's still both day? 
You're not even a week old yet. I know, but can we start? What can we do for Saturday the fourth day? Mm. Hey, duck. Hey, duck. Sorry about my hand. I'm just trying to mm -hmm. pet them. And she's like, so scared of this giant person and... Are you picking it? No. Are you picking it up? And it's so then me picking it up. You got a chickadee? Yep. You gonna name this chickadee? Um, uh, let's name it Hole. Mm -hmm. If it's a girl or a boy. We, we should just know. always assume yeah. that they're girls until they turn into roosters. Um, not Beatrice. Because I named two bees Ben and Mia Twist and they're my friends. Okay. But, um, hmm. Lila. Lila? Yeah, Lila. That's a cute name. Yeah, this is Lila. Alright, put her back. There you go, Lila. And what did you name the blonde ones? The blonde ones are Americana Silver oh, Mix. The Anna and Elsa. Anna and Elsa, that's right. Anna and Elsa. All the other chicks are black, and those are the only two light colored ones. Yep, and they're mine to name. You gonna name all of them? Hmm? Are you gonna name all of them? Or just some of them? Just some of them. Mm -hmm. So, Anna and Elsa, and Lila, which is right, which is right here. How can you turn and them apart? I have no idea. You have no idea? <laughs> Um, maybe we should be nope, like, leave it on. They're okay. There's There's, it's because we're messing with them and they want to be left alone. So let's leave them alone, okay? Alright, bye chickies. We'll check on you later. Say bye chickies. Okay. Hey guys, editing Stephanie here. I realized as I was editing the video that I did not sign off. So I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Mm -hmm. We got chicks and I'm so excited about the chicks. We took a little trip to Tractor Supply and now our little chicks are all set up. The next thing is to get started on the coop. So stay tuned for the coop video, soon to come I'm sure. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Again, thank you for hanging out with me and we'll see you next time here on Hollow Acres Homestead.